This video is just in response to a question of whether you can upload pictures or documents to the Sandite Classroom. So I'm logged into classroom.sandites.org right now and I'm going to scroll down to the page that I want this to go on. So I'm going to go to the school and I'm going to choose the teachers page. And so with these topics here, if I wanted to upload a picture or a document to one of these topics, first thing I have to do is click turn editing on and then it reloads the page and then from here I can click add an activity or resource so I go to the topic where I want to add that I scroll down and I choose file then I click add and from here it will launch a new page where I can add a name to that file so I'm going to put picture as a sample and right here it says description and it's got an asterisk which means that you have to fill in this field but it will only show up on the page if you click display description on course page so I'm going to put in a because I don't really have a description for it and I'll leave this unchecked then from here I go to the content section and I need to upload my file in this case I want a picture so I'll click add and you've got a couple of options here. You can upload files from your recent files or you can upload one from your computer. And you also have the option of connecting to your Google Drive account and uploading documents from there. So I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive and click Login and it's gonna ask me permission to link my Google Drive account. If it doesn't, that means I'm already linked and that's fine. And then from here, uh, I just find my picture so I'm going to click on pictures and I'm going to put this picture on there and hit select this file and of course it's uploaded and now all I have to do is click save and display and it takes me back to the page and I can see where that picture resides so if I go back to the main page here it's been uploaded as a picture sample that may not be what you want okay you may want the picture to actually show up here but that's how you would do it if you just wanted a picture link that they could click on I'm going to delete that for now and I'm going to show you how to put an actual picture in this section so to do that I'll click add an activity or resource and the option we want here is instead not a file but a label and I'll click add and normally if you're thinking in terms of a label you would be adding text but that's not what we're going to do we'll go to the text box click on show editing tools I'm going to drag this so that we can see it a little bit bigger and from here I'll just click inside the box and I'm going to click on this little icon for insert edit image and I'll click find or upload an image and since I just recently uploaded a file I'll just go to recent files and find that picture there and I'm just going to use this picture doesn't really matter for this demo and I'll click select this file and then insert and it says you didn't give a description of that picture that's okay however the reason they're asking that is if you have someone that has a disability um, they may want a screen reader to read what that picture is about and you can add a description if you want to but you don't have to and then so here's our picture and if I need to scale it down I can click on it and use the handles to scale it down and get it the way I want it and then click save and return to course and then you can see that my picture shows up right on the front page under my topic the way I want it to so hopefully that gives you an idea of how to do that if you have questions just please let me know and thanks for joining me